Hello, I'm Derek from Inflatable Sub Authority, and today we are testing the Maddle paddle board. Now, Maddle is actually a Canadian company, and because I'm located in Canada, I thought, hey, let's try this Canadian company, see how they are. So, big thanks to Maddle for sending their board. So, today I will be going through the specs as well as what I like about the board on water, I'm doing tracking, stability tests, maneuverability, and a bit of speed, kind of push this board a little bit, see how it goes, and we'll go from there. One thing I should note about this package is that I'm actually using a different kind of paddle. Um, I'm not using the Maddle paddle. Unfortunately, the Maddle paddle snapped on me whenever I was paddling with my friends at Hayward Lake. So what happened was the paddle was essentially sitting in the sun for a good amount of hours. And then when it came time to paddle, everything was fine until I extended it and then put some harder strokes in. And then right where this handle part is just completely snapped in half. It's a little bit of a surprise because that's never happened to me before. Um, so I don't want to say it's completely on the paddle because the sun, it was sitting in the sun for a while and the sun can weaken materials, but I just wanted to state though that it's not necessarily the highest quality paddle around. And I mean, this is an introductory package as well. So I think people aren't necessarily going to be doing the same strokes as I did. This is more of like a beginner kind of board. And now it is time to stand. So, because most of you that are looking at this review are probably beginners, show you how to do it. Put the paddle up front over here. I like to have the blade sort of out. And then you put one foot, the other foot, and then you stand in a fluid motion. Now, as soon as you stand, you want to put a paddle in the water just so that you get that momentum. It's kind of like being on a bike in that as soon as you have the momentum, it'll feel more stable for your body. So over overall standing on this board, it's pretty stable. Um, for me, especially, this is a 10 foot six board. So, yeah, it's about what I'd expect out of an all-around board. All right, while we are rearing the corner here, let's do some tracking tests. We're gonna see how many strokes aside we can do on each side before we have to correct. So our target is the ramp. So this is a, just a rough guess. This isn't like the word of God here, <laughs> but it gives you at least an idea and it gives you a comparison compared to other boards. So now let's get her straight and get started. Let's do a little more. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, eight one end. Let's try the other now. Point a little bit more that way. Okay. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. So let's say about 7.5 strokes aside is actually pretty good. Um, I say 7.5 because there's eight one way, seven the other. The water is sort of coming in, so it's affecting it just a little bit, and because it's on a bit of an angle as well. So we take the average of the seven, the eight, so we'll say 7.5 strokes aside as the average, which is overall pretty good. I think the average is 5.8 currently for all around boards, so. That is above the average, and that is because of the two side fins. I always find that side fins help board with tracking. 
by at least two strokes. Now having said that, they can also slow the board down a little bit as well. So it just kind of depends what you prioritize. Would you prefer to have a bit more speed and maneuverability or would you rather go in a straighter line? You want to go in a straighter line? Keep those side fins on. If you want the speed and a little more maneuverability, then take those side fins off. The side fins are also good for a little bit of added extra stability as well. Just wanted to bounce on this board a little bit. See how it feels. Yeah, like this isn't going to be the strongest materials ever. But having said that, it's not it's not completely bendy. Like it's not like a single layer PVC kind of board. So Mato has made their board up with pretty good materials. It seems like I'd say it's somewhere in that sort of mid tierish range, just based on the little bounce test I did there. It has some play, but it's also not super bouncy, like a wet banana. <laughs> I don't know where I got that term from, but we're just gonna roll with it. Now time for some maneuverability tests, see how many reverse sweep strokes we can do, and then we're gonna do reverse side paddles. So let's start off the reverse sweep strokes, see how many for our 360. Let's get started. One, two, three, Four. So I'd say like 4.2 about, which is a pretty respectable score. I think if you take those side fins off, you will be doing it in a little bit less, probably like half, maybe half a stroke or so less. But overall pretty good. There are some other boards that are this size that can do it in about like 3.5 or even three reverse sweep strokes. So it's at about the middle-ish range, I'd say. Now we're gonna do some reverse side paddles. So let's get started. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10.2 or so I'd say so again not necessarily the best not the worst um, previous boards I just tested the Balta Easy Rider and Low Rider did this in about eight or nine strokes but those boards are also a lot wider so they do have a distinct maneuverability advantage there they are 36 inches and I believe this is a 33 inch board so it is quite a big difference all right as we round the bend here we're gonna give this board a little bit of gas as then I'm gonna paddle a little bit harder and we'll see how it feels so I'll let you guys know my thoughts here Okay, this board is actually a little bit of a, of a mover, as in, it can go pretty quick. Now I think that's because the board is very lightweight. I also have a lighter weight paddle than what the model produces. So that is also helping things as well. But overall, I actually kind of got in a bit of a stride with that, I was able to do Maybe four or five strokes aside before switching. I had to correct a little bit back there because of razor clans. I don't want to be crashing into those. That would be brutal. So just a little course correct, but overall this board motors. Now this won't be the most hydrodynamic board 
in the world because of its nose. The nose sort of drags whenever I'm paddling it. It's like you can see there's a bit of water disturbance along the nose there. And that's because the nose isn't as uplifted as some other all around boards. So as a result, it does kind of, it doesn't di displace the water as well, especially as um, boards that have skinnier noses as well. So this wouldn't necessarily be my choice for a board in a sup race, but you know what? Like you'll be able to catch up with most other all around boards, I'd say, especially your paddling with your friends, etc. It's not a bad board to have at all. I do like how I was able to lean on the edges a little bit as well. So I really started to feel my rhythm here. All right, so what are my overall thoughts of the Mad All board? This is the Wild Tribe, I believe. Yeah, this board is pretty good. It's a nice little, nice little all around board. Its size will be for about 80, 85% of the paddlers. It's kind of like, it's a good jack of all trades board. It does everything fairly well. It's not specialized. It's not gonna be the most stable board. It won't be the quickest board. It won't be the best tracking board. And it won't be the most maneuverable board. But it blends everything fairly well. And I mean, for the board's price, it's it's a pretty good, it's a pr pretty handy board. I definitely get this over Amazon style boards or even um, boards that you get in big box retailers. That'd be about the same price. So overall, for who it's for, the model is a pretty good, pretty handy little board. If you like this content, feel free to like and subscribe. The links are in the bio. So the product review as well as the product link. Appreciate it if you go through my link, helps support the channel. In any case, it's great paddling with you guys. Have a good one. See ya.